Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another 1212 AD Siege View today and 1212 AD is the medieval mod for Attila Total War. If you haven't heard of it, then uh, you, you should have by this point, there's loads of new replays, uh, not replays, updates for it coming out recently and a lot of content for it. Um, obviously if you're new to the channel, yeah we cover a lot of 1212 AD on the, uh, on the channel and uh, yeah this is a great uh, battle that we have today. We have a nice 3v3 siege. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is a really really good one. I've been told sent in by a member of my discord uh, So if you would like to join the discord send in your own replays of 1212 or just to get involved in some battles Then the link is down below in the description Fully recommend joining got a great community there of uh, some great total war players And uh, yeah, also if you are new to the channel Then don't forget to leave a like subscribe if you're around here and a comment to show your support always appreciated your support recently guys has been Amazing. I can't like thank you guys enough really really helping out the channel and just keep it up uh, keep it up yeah it's just doing amazing and we can see we've got a we'll have a quick look at these sides that we're going to be uh, seeing today so we, on the defense oh as i go all the way over to the attack on the defense we have uh georgia we have the empire of nicaea and i believe we also have the seljuks if i can find them there yeah, they're all the way over here the seljuks um so they are gonna be it's an interesting uh, combination good to see george back i'd say george is a really solid faction that we don't see played enough you can see them here some of their swords looking really good all in their chain mail here um so yeah what are they called they're as nuri swordsmen they're really cool do like them um and on the attack today we have um the holy roman empire and we've got a tower on fire wow how long are these towers here are these are these are heavy siege towers as well oh they're being shot by the fire siphon Oh, that's huge. This fire siphon here just burnt these towers to the ground. And look, they killed so many sergeants. Wow, and they can still fire all the way over there? What? How far do those things fire? I don't think they could used to be able to fire that far, but clearly they can now. Um, anyway, yes, we've got the Holy Roman Empire, which is having a, a few troubles early game. Uh, we've got uh, the Kingdom of Aragon. So good to see the Spanish here. I know a few of you guys really like to see the Spanish factions here. So you can see the Aragon is here, ready with his uh, shock infantry. And then on the far side on his own at the moment, we have Hungary. Hungary, another faction that we possibly don't see a lot. But good to see them again on the battlefield. We've got the Kingdom of Hungary here. Um, so yeah, good to have all these factions here. A strange move by Hungary straight away putting Swiss halberdiers onto the uh, onto the tower. I wouldn't recommend doing that. He's got a... Um, I'd be sending maybe shock infantry or the spears, possibly. Put the spear sergeants on there. Um, doesn't even need to all these towers now. He has a breach in the wall. And it looks like the Turks are going to let him inside the city quite a lot. By the way, Nice has brought like eight or so cavalry units. He's brought a lot of cavalry for a defense. So there's clearly going to be either Sally's out or he's going to be doing a lot of like charges with his cavalry into the flanks of troops that arrive. You can see this cavalry unit here is ready to run down the street. Anything that comes through that breach. It's destroyed. The gate has been destroyed. They destroyed it with a ram. Uh, interesting move again by uh, Holy Roman Empire using the, uh, like the gate. Because now, if we watch this, I'm sure the oil is going to come down and do a lot of damage. Or I say that, maybe it's not. Maybe the oil isn't on this map. I would have thought this gatehouse has oil. Yeah, gatehouse with oil. And they just walked on through. But they're getting gunned down now by... Uh, well, si oh yeah, the sergeants are already through. Look at that. Um, oh, they've already captured. That's why. Duh. Um, but they have been throwing Nafatoons. That was a bit too early, I think, to be throwing Nafatoons. Um, but they're now getting focused down. Yeah, I'd be waiting with these Nafatoons for, like, when they're blobbing up here. That's a serious uh, area to be using. But, yeah, you can see HRE having a bit of a hard time with some of the uh, weapons of war that Nicaea and the Seljuks have on offer. They've got some gunners here as well. These guys will be pretty nice. They could fire up onto the wall. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to see what they can do. Lots of sergeants late. A lot of the Chevron sergeants as well. So the elite units. So uh, that will be interesting to see. We've got some uh, interesting units back here. So we've got some flamethrowers, the fire uh, throwers that the uh, Empire Nice here. Basically any Byzantine faction can bring. So good to see them here. They will be very useful. We've got the Varangian Guard here as well, or the Anglo Varangoi. A lot of good stuff being used or going to be used. And they've got cavalry in here. They've actually opened up a breach here in the corner. Have, uh, have the attackers. An interesting place to open up a breach. Um, because, I mean, you could just cut off the attackers in this one choke point here. Or, like, almost here, you could just choke them off. And they, and this means that, uh, that Aragon would just be stuck in this corner here. But he is getting his uh, Royal Cavalry, a uh, Royal Guard Cavalry in here. They're not going to get shot by towers. They're going to try and capture this. They're going to take a lot of HP damage, maybe lose a few men as well from this tower. Because these towers are, like, machine guns, you got to remember. 
Um, I wouldn't really bother capturing a tower with a uh, like with some cavalry. I'd just be going up here trying to get push on. But you can see the defenders are ready, and they've already choked off this entire area. Just with one militia spear unit. I mean, they've got some swords ready in behind as well. But this militia spear here, this is stopping Aragon from just moving up, uh, like, moving any further into the city. He's going to now go and land over where the HRE is if he wants any success. Well, I say he won't get success here, but, I mean, he's going to be having a good old slog to get through here. So this is well played again by um, the Byzantines. I don't know if his carry went down for a charge. I don't think it did. It looked like he was going to go down for charge. I mean, it shouldn't because there's these sharp stones here. They'll get caught. they got a uh, Ghoul and Foot Guards in here as well. So that's a interesting, an interesting unit to see. As, as you can see, the uh, battle's not getting quite underway yet. I might just fast forward for the moment. Keep on fast forward while uh, units get into place. I don't, again, I don't know why Hungary's still insistent on the towers. You couldn't, can just go through these uh, breaches. I mean, I'd be getting archers onto the, uh, onto the walls now if I was hungry. Because, uh, well, he doesn't know about this cavalry, as far as I'm aware. It's hidden, yeah. But, just a staple thing always to do is if you go through a breach or off a wall, you're going to get charged by cavalry, defending cavalry. It's a really good play now that's uh, used quite often by uh, by defenders is to use cavalry on the defense, but not take it outside the walls, just use it inside the walls. And it does such good work. So, uh, yeah, you really should be getting these crossbows, these uh, Pavi's crossbows, onto the wall. They will do some really nice work. He's actually opened up another breach here as well. What's he using to open up a breach? Great Bombard. No surprise he's opened up a couple of breaches. And that Great Bombard destroys walls like they're made of paper mache. But yeah, still waiting on the offensive. I guess that the, uh, the attackers just are waiting maybe on Hungary. They want to attack all at the same time. Hungary is a little bit slower than the other two. Um... I'm not really sure. Maybe they're just uh, more worried about like how stern these defenses are uh, from the uh, from the defenders. I mean, I'd be certainly focusing on this, this general while he's here. George is setting up his general. Just chilling here. Going to have a look. See what's going on. As you can see, look at this. This is what I mean. Here's going to be the first attack then. So like I said, the cavalry, this uh, sword unit here of um, Aragon, dismounted Hildago, is coming off the wall. And here comes the cavalry of... Uh, of Nicaea coming straight in and they're just going after uh, these poor poor units that has just got off the wall and yeah this unit uh, probably will be losing yeah it's already lost what 20 30 men and it's going to continue to lose men the cavalry here not even lost a single guy yet they're doing quite well and yeah they can't like they need to send up more they need to get their own cavalry over here like royal guard cavalry get it up here they can save this, uh, certainly save the uh, infantry unit. This is a pretty solid unit. It's Mount Hildargos. It's a tier 1, but they're pretty good. And yeah, the uh, cavalry got out of there with only two losses. Uh, Pronor... Pronornarii? Or however you say that, I don't know. Are they going to go for another charge? I think they might, yeah. Here they go. They're gonna, they want a second bite of the apple on this uh, sword unit. And they're getting another sword unit off the walls. Are oh, the uh, attackers... No, no, no. Save it. Get both units back onto the wall would be what I do. So until you can get cavalry around here to support. Oh my gosh. That poor dismount of Hildago. The other one's now been hit. Um, I don't think it's severely. I don't think it lost that many men. It lost like two. This one's now down to 70 odd men. They need to just get it engaged. Oh dear, they're going to push forward. And there you go, charging in. They're flying in to try and damage these uh, Hildagos even more. They're probably going to break pretty quickly. Down to 63 men. They might actually lose to the... Uh, Malicious Spears. You can see the cavalry here. Uh, Pronorn, uh, the uh, medium shock, just going in. It's going after the next unit. Where is the cavalry? I mean, they're setting up a shock infantry now. Not a bad idea. I mean, look at this. Already breaking. And the tower just gets destroyed. They capped it. So they lost more men doing that. That's uh, just an annoying Attila feature, which I hate. Um, but yeah, they're going to get some shock infantry up here. Not a bad idea. I would have certainly just got the guard cavalry up. If they got the guard cavalry up and just stood it here. Uh, Nicaea probably wouldn't have charged out again. But now they're sitting in their swords to face the uh, spears. They should, in time, win this. I think they wouldn't have won it with the first unit of swords. But they'll certainly win it with two in here. Here comes the... That's the first infantry combat. It's Spain versus Nicaea. Uh, these Javis as well. They might do really well, these Peltastoi. They're going to get some really nice shots. Oh, into the flank. And hopefully they're shooting those... Uh, yeah, they're shooting those shock infantry there. Really nice flank they've got on them. And they will do a lot of damage. At least I hope they're firing them. I'm not really sure if they are. 
I think they're firing more at the uh, rear Hildago unit. But they should shoot these, uh, yeah, I mean, these archers now focusing on those uh, shock infantry. Yeah, you got some, uh, what are these? Some uh, Savanian hunters. Some uh, light bows, anyway, for Georgia over here firing at these guys. And that's good. They're winning decisively, which they will against uh, Spears. But you can see, look at these guys getting shot on the flank. So many of them getting, like, jabbies in them. Try and get a better view because the till looks awful in a certain angle. There, look at that. It looks so much brighter, so much nicer if you have it at the right angle. Such an annoying feature with the Attila. Yeah, what are they setting up now? Oh, the crossbows. This must be a misclick, surely. Yeah, I think these crossbows weren't supposed to get that far. Get them on the wall. Um, that's a better place to have them. Hungary over here. Oh, we have missed another charge. You can see that the... Uh, you got some more uh, Nicene carry over here trying to uh, do their damage. I think they might have charged these uh, mercenary Swiss halberdiers. But you're now getting focused down by uh, archers, you can see here. Got the Gulen foot guards. That's the problem bringing in uh, Polam's first thing. Yes, it's good security for your cavalry. You're going to route this cavalry. Uh, but you couldn't get focused down by archers, and they still have a lot of ammo. Better just use other cavalry. Other cavalry is really solid. It's countering cavalry, and it's got good armor. Look at this um, s like spear pileup as well. What's this? All like just. Uh, this is all Seljuk spears as well. Not great spears, I'll give them that, but it's still all Seljuk spears in here. I love the officer unit though, he looks really cool. That officer looks really nice. Um, but yeah, they've got a lot of stuff blob up there. I'd be trying to fire artillery into that blob. Uh, if they're going to blob up like that, yeah, just make them punish. You've got trebuchet ready. Trebuchet's really effective and really uh, cheap. Oh, they've lost two already? Where did they lose to? But they've got... Uh, oh, they lost them literally there. Um, but yeah, these are really cheap and effective like weapons of war. And they'll do a really good amount of damage to uh, anything. I've seen them get like 400 kills plus. Got a Hungarian cavalry coming all the way down here now. Is it going to try and charge this uh, spear unit? I think it is. There is a gap as well, so they could go for the rear and support Spain. Uh, or Aragon, I should say. And in they go. I think the spear unit is not going to stop this... Uh, there's a huge amount of cavalry. Look at this. What well, they got coming up now? Pikes. They need to get the cavalry moving on because pikes are now coming up for Nicaea. He's going to try and uh, stop these cavalry in their tracks. But yeah, they don't really want to go down here. I don't think they want to go after these peltasts, which is uh, something that I'd be sending them. Go after the peltasts. Who cares about the pikes? Who cares about the pikes? Uh, he's got this bit, uh, Hungarian knight here. Just fall back. Kill the peltasts. You can see the death we're trying to send. Their shock cavalry, both sides, you can see that they're trying to send it. The cavalry here just needs to get a combat. Get these Hungarian knights out of here. They won't beat these pikes. They're losing, as you can see. And yeah, they're recharging all these peltas. And these, uh, this is an absolute mess here going on. The shock infantry, though, is broken here. The uh, dismounted Hildargos have actually lasted longer. And now you can see that George is now counterflanking the Hildargos. It's turning into just a big old mess in here. And that's what we like to see in 1212. See, look at the Peltas trying to pull through their own units and get, probably getting killed terribly. Uh, cavalry is getting a bit routed, though, you can see. What's that? That's Hungarian Knights there. This one's now trying to hold back uh, the other uh, medium shot cavalry and the pikes. I'd be sending the other Hungarian Knight back, and I'd just be, like... Because you can get around the flank now with the pikes. The pikes come out of the, like, choke point formation. You can get around these guys. I shouldn't have fallen back with these Hungarian Knights. Just keep them in combat. They're doing okay. They might beat those, uh, yeah, heavy shock against medium shock. They should have beaten, they should beat those Nicaeans in prolonged melee. I know the pikes are coming up, but like I said, you can flank them quite easily. And this is an absolute massacre of like breaking stuff in here. Nicaea lost quite a bit, but Hungary uh, losing a lot of cav and um, there's a lot of shock dying for the uh, Aragonese as well. They're setting up more militia spears. A lot of militia spears for Nicaea. I think they spent a lot of money on their... Uh, Cavalry and then just uh, just the remains on the cheap spears, which is not a bad play. Cavalry can get you hundreds of kills if used rightly, uh, and you don't then just need just need some cheap spears to hold the line. They got a uh, halberdiers up here. You can see Hungary sending up his halberdiers so early. He's sending his shock infantry as well. Fet Sareg Axman. These must be a new axe new unit, which I've not seen before, like a medium shock infantry unit, which is really nice to see. Um, what's not nice to see is them being focused down by Ghoul and foot guards. And um, like I said, send up swords first. Swords got better, missile block 
Shock infantry, pole arms, never a good idea to send in first. They've got very little missile block. You want to wait and send them in last because then you'll have uh, ammo. They, these guys will have less ammo. The general's been focused down over here. Well, look at that. That's unfortunate. He's not dead, but he's been focused down by the trebuchet and no one's doing anything about it. Um, yeah, so you don't want to send in your like units that are going to like get easy killed by arrows first because that's when every, the, everyone has their arrows. They're going to charge here into spears. This is also not what you want to do with your uh, cavalry. This is a well set up spear line. Yeah, those cavalry are not going to get in far. This Hungarian knight. It may be heavy shot cav. They will die. And now there's a uh, Gulen cavalry in here as well. What are these? Royal Gulens. Yeah. They, these, this cavalry will die. Uh, it charged into a, a pretty solid spear line. And there's plenty of reserves. You can see they're now setting up a lot of their own cavalry. They're going to try and, I think, charge all this stuff here. I don't know if that's really a wise idea. They've got pole arms ready here as well. you got gunners on the wall. That's nice. Glad to see that. They're trying to get the, uh, the Aragonese gunners on the wall. They'll do a lot of damage to the units back here in reserve. I mean, shooting these Peltas is probably some of the biggest uh, like need in the world. They're actually shooting the arch. That's probably a bit better. But this sh uh, shock infantry, they should just charge the shock infantry with the cavalry. be a better idea. The Hungarian knights breaking there. They're finally moving their general, realizing what's happening. And look at this, Hungary! Hungary, what are you doing? Don't send everything just down one choke point. You've got this other area here. Yes, there's some archers here, like on a barricade, but that's easy to destroy. Just send up some of your own arch. Oh, he's got crossbows, I guess. But you could actually send up crossbows, get them on the wall there. And he's got the angle to then fire down onto that. Makes that barricade redundant. But fo focusing everything in, in here is making it such a magnet for arrows. Such a magnet. And Hungary's really pushing on. This is a big mistake. Never do this in 12 Never do this in any total war. Just choke up in one spot like this. Because look at this. Hungary is now, like, for the taking, there's Nicene and there's a Seljuk cavalry coming around. And they're just going to rear charge so much stuff. Like this uh, cavalry here, just going to rear charge all of this. I'll just pin it in place. Then there's, like, the cavalry here can deal with Hungary's general. Hungary's cavalry is, like, all the way over on the other side of the map. All dead now. And it can't protect its own uh, lines. And yeah, look at this, the, uh, the uh, carry coming in now, the nice seer. Oh, they, I mean, they kind of destroyed that charge, that was a pretty poor charge. Uh, they're going to go after the archers, it's not a bad idea. Um, what, the Gulen carry should have carried on, got for the general, there's literally nothing stopping them. They sh yeah, they're going to rear charge the sword unit here that's now trying to uh, stop this uh, shot carry. They're trying to pull it through, I don't know if you can really pull this through, you'll probably lose a lot of men doing this. They have recharged his sword though and that's losing a lot of men. Yeah, if you pull this cavalry through, you're going to lose everything. Look at that. Yeah, they've really downgraded that in the new update, I think. Is that if you try and pull a cavalry unit through, you're going to lose a lot of men. You need to knock the entire unit down if you want to do it. And I mean, yeah, pulling through all this crossbows was never going to work. So yeah, serves him right for doing it, I think, and I see there. Sh should have realised that was never going to work. He is going to try and pull through again, like pull through that combat with the swords and the uh, Royal Gulen's rear charge with the Royal Remains of the unit into these swords here. But that's enough. Like, these swords are already losing anyway. Ca uh, swords losing here. The uh, Royal Gulen's still fresh. Only lost one man. Um, the General's now in combat. And you can see Royal Gulen's and uh, the uh, Cavaloroi, which is like, the even better cavalry, I'm pretty sure, for uh, Nice here, are beating uh, these swords. They should then beat these cavalry. If they can uh, focus down this General, they'll do okay. The uh, Royal Gulen's winning here. I think Hungary's pretty much finished. It's going to be a 3v2 on this side. They are actually making some good headway here, though. HRE doing some good work. We haven't really looked at them. They've got their dismounted Imperial Ritter, which is just another shock infantry unit, I'll just say. It's a really cheesy move. I really love it, though. It's a really fun unit to see. And they are chopping down Anglo of Randro. Like, they don't even care. This is Tier 2 Anglo of Randro losing to Tier 1 Imperial Ritter. Doing a good job. That HRE, you can see, actually making some good pushes. I do apologize, I've not really shown them off, but they're making some really good pushes here. They're like the salvation of the attackers, really. Um, Spain is really pinned down in here. Really bad place to really attack with this little peninsula over here. He's, I mean, he is making headway, but at a lot of like cost of his own men. He's nearly out of troops. He's got oh, he's got some back here. He needs to bring his hill dargers up and his uh, cavalry. Should really like he needs to get his cavalry inside. Um, like over here with HRE and send it round because they could get all their cavalry inside. They could do a lot of damage um, because like HRE's got 
Imperial Ritter. They've got uh, Armats over there. They could get them inside. They could then just go for, like, this trebuchet. Don't know why they aren't just, like, bolting for that trebuchet with the, uh, with the cavalry. And then they can go after all this, uh, it, these archers here. They can basically just do what, uh, they can just do what the, um, Seljuks and the, uh, and Nicaea have done to Hungary. They could just mop up what remains of the Seljuks with all that cavalry if they wanted to. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a fairly close one. I think the attackers made a lot of mistakes, but they are still because they have the numbers and they have uh, the quality. They are making making some gains. They need to be not just putting their dismounted Imperial Ritter though. This is their proper shock infantry, just here. Just, just getting shot at by uh, some ar some archers, some hunters. But yeah, they need to save Hungary or like what remains of Hungary. They need to save it. Setting so up more cavalry now. Enemy general dead. That's going to be hungry general dead. Yep. He's in this big old blob down here. It's like hardly any Hungarians down here now. I'm like just zooming in like to show you guys what's going on. There's no Hungarians in there. I don't know what I'm telling you. Hungary's literally got two sword units left. One of which is going to break. They've got like artillery piece over here. And that's it. Um, the, the chances missed by the HRE I think in Spain. Just go in and assassinate these uh, this artillery piece. This, all these archers. These archers were all for the taking at one point because Hungary had like a general and a bit of swords just holding back so much. Like they decided to just clump up to the Seljuks because they could, they had the time, um, but they shouldn't have been allowed the time. They should, like HRE should just realize like he is well and truly in. He had the, was into the back lines of the Seljuks if he pushed up because like his defending allies have retreated. Like Nicaea and uh, Georgia, which I'm pretty sure is Georgia's all dead. He seemed to die quite quickly to uh, the HRE. Um, like, it abandoned him and, like, retreated to this, like, town center. Like, the Seljuks are still all the way out, out here. The HRE could have just cut them off and uh, isolated them and killed them. But it was not to be. Um, right now, I'd be getting up gunners. i just shoot down these uh, pikemen. Fall back your own uh, pole arms. Get these gunners up and uh, just shoot them. Just make them, don't even allow this uh, pike unit to stand it. All it'll need is one volley. And then you just have the pole arm straight behind, so if anything tries to charge the gunners, you just pull them back. Cowards. But they still have a lot of cavalry, a lot of healthy cavalry does the nice here, which I'm sure he wants to use. You can see the Spanish are now uh, pushing up here. They actually are pulling through as well as the Spanish. This is not what you should be doing. This is a cheesy thing. You shouldn't do this. I don't know if he did this as just a misclick or what. He's getting punished for it here anyway. Is Spain. Um, yeah, his units, like, look, look at this, breaking 73 men. That's what happens when you trample through pole arms. Italian mercenaries here as well for Georgia. And they're all just getting, they're just getting so many kills, killing all these uh, really expensive uh, shock infantry. Shouldn't really, like I said, shouldn't do that. Again, should just get gunners up. Just get gunners or crossbows up. Shoot these Italian mercenaries. If they're going to stand in the choke point, punish them. Put some gunners there. I know they've got quite a lot of ammo left, but look, most of the archers. They got these uh, these hunters here. That's a part. That's about the only unit that I think can fire over, um, like a front line. I mean, they've got all these uh, these units back here as well, the Gulen foot guards, but they're a long way from the, uh, the men are running. from the like main cap point. And you can see they actually are attacking the main cap point again. Why attack this? Just don't attack this. This is pole arms. You're trying to attack pole arms with a sword infantry, which is really treated as a shock infantry. Not going to break through. Not going to break through. Defenders uh, attack and making a few mistakes. They're falling back, luckily. This is some good units. You want to hold on to them. They've got crossbows here. They've got artillery with full ammo. Like, this trebuchet does ne not need also to get, like, point blank. Just put it in here. Just put it down here in flat ground. It can fire easily into it. It's got insanely good range. Um, their crossbows are all the way up here, though. Don't know why I have all their crossbows up here. They should just put them here. Stand them here and just let them shoot the pole arms. There's two, two lines of pole arms to kill. Gonna need as many crossbow rounds or bolts. They're defending the flank here quite nicely, the Pavi Spears of Spain. Why Spain's got stuff all the way over here? Should really keep all his forces together, I would have thought. But he has actually like routed this unit here. I think that is with the gunners. Um, so that's quite nicely done. He's uh, used his uh, great bombard crew basically as a bait, and he is routing actually the gunners, uh, the, uh, the spears and the pikes quite nicely there. The other pike falling back. So they're still pushing here. They could actually be a bit aggressive here if they fancied it. 
Why is that Royal Guard Cavalry? He's still got Cavalry back here as well. He's got Cavalry and a Sword Unit. Get it up. Uh, they're definitely not bugged. This is Armats and Royal Guard Cavalry. They need to just get up. He could push down here now. Um, with his Cavalry. And he could go and take out more stuff if you fancy his chances. It's good Cavalry as well. Beat this, uh, like the other Cavalry here. Of Nicaea quite easily. The unit is running from the enemy. Again, HRE charging in these... Uh, these units are just traders, shock infantry, into pole arms. It's not going to work. He needs to get, he needs to get archers up. Kill them. Uh, he'll kill a few of these guys, yes, but like a few of the pole arms, and he's like, yes, great success. He's killing quite a lot actually, but it's he's losing a lot of men himself doing this. It's just not the most effective way. Get the crossbows up here. Get archers up here, which he's done now. And kill them. He's brought a lot of archers, I just realized. Are these all his archers? Yeah, he's got a lot of crossbows and archers. I don't know what the rules were. Oh, no, these aren't all his. Okay. There are Spanish ones here as well. Yeah, he's firing with his uh, the fire arrows, which has also just damage to your morale as well as the enemies. So it's probably better just to use normal arrows. And I'd also just pull back this Imperial Ritter. Like, he, the chance again is kind of missed. The attackers kind of missed the chance just to stand here and shoot point blank. Because if they fall back... This Tazruli sword, I'm sure, will just charge down this uh, this archer unit. Then you have the shock infantry just here. And then just stand it here. And then just let the archers now fire point blank into everything here. And they can be a bait. And they can fall back if they need to. And then the shock infantry can just surround and kill these swords. They're actually pushing down here nicely, though. There's a, they've caught out a Georgian spear. I don't know if the Georgian spear was just going to go and investigate what was up there. But it's been punished. They've found sergeants. They found signs the HRE, so this is a nice little trap that they've got. They should break these uh, these guys. I mean, if they want to do it quicker, I pull back one of the units and surround the spear. Or send up some cavalry. Send up some cavalry. And they have actually done that look. These uh, swords try to push up to try and catch these archers out. The shock infantry has caught these guys. And it's going to kill these Tazrulu swords very nice and easily. It's triple gold chevron imperial ritter. I mean, they're going to push up their pole arms. Now I just get the archers to fire. Just get these archers to fire into the flank of these Italian mercenaries. Or shoot into the back of these Tazruli swords, in fact. One or the other. It looks so chunky, the HRE units. They look awesome. They're the big double handed sword. Again, why is he using fire arrows? Just use normal arrows. It's more effective. Like, fire arrows just don't do any, like... I mean, they do bonus yes to the morale. But I'm pretty sure you get, like, morale, like damage done to you. If you get shot by a volley of, ar of arrows, I'm pretty sure that is in there. You can see they're now trying to have a sort of a grind here with their pole arm spin and nice here fighting out Pike versus pole arm. Pikes will probably win this if the uh, extra range I believe anyway, but actually Pikes are falling back. They don't fancy their chances there. Got Pavi Spears up. I pushed the Pavi Spears up because then they can help cover these pole arms. Would be certainly what I'd be trying to do. I'd also be wanting to get archers up to try and shoot these uh, pikes again. Look at the balance power. It's massively shifted in favor of the uh, of the defenders. They actually have more men than the attackers now. It is a real, that's a real, real concern. Like I said, they need to be like isolated and killing off like Seljuks. They're just still quite out in the open um, in some areas. Like, you could get around here. You could just charge this goon foot guard. Yeah, you can form shield wall. It's still an archer uh, slash sword unit. You'll run it down. Uh, you can see here that they finally sent their carry up to re rear charge the spear unit. Needed doing a long time ago. Uh, over here, they've lost the shock infantry. They need to kill this uh, like spear unit. I don't know what they're using like their archers for, but focus these guys down. It's a rear charge. You're rear shooting into this, like a sword unit. It should die. Uh, he's luckily his uh, shocks like rallied, but not much. His Italian mercenaries are nearly dead though, so it has cost them nearly a pole arm unit. But they have plenty of more pole arms and stuff. Cavalry here fighting the uh, poor catapult crew. This cavalry for Nicaea has been really, really good. Done a really good job. Shocking which you're coming in now. What's this? This is like Anglo over Android coming in, isn't it? Yeah. High Anglo over Android. They'll route these guys. The gunner's now set up, though. This is good. Gunner's now set up. Just shoot these pole arms. Oh, these pole arms. These pikes right in front of you. And everything else, to be honest. It's all enemies here. Look at that. And look, this pike's going to come forward. They're going to try and scare them off. Gunners put one volley in here. I think they scare these guys off. They're having to retreat, though. And the pole arms come forward. Oh, there were such good chances. 
Spain you, or Aragon, you could have used your gunners. And then now, now they're going to fire from there. Please don't fire from there. Yeah, hold your fire. Don't fire. They got their cavalry in though. Again, they're just choking off for spears. Really cheap spears. Just go and look for a spot that haven't got spears. You can set up, go all the way around here. Go and charge this cavalry. You can go and charge these good foot guards. The most like scary point I think for the defenders was when Hungary did send all his cavalry down here and nearly opened up this entire front for the attackers. That nearly worked. I don't know why they don't just try it again. They've got a lot of cavalry, yes, but kill this cavalry off. They haven't got much good infantry. And you have the assets just to grind down their pole arms, then their infantry. I think their best infantry they probably got is the Gulen Foot Guards. The Anglo of Ranjo, yeah, good. But again, just shoot them with crossbows or whatever. Or just have your, use your own pole arms against them. See the pikes and the pole arms here having their own little slow fight. Pole arms again focused down by the Gulen Foot Guards, so they're going to die. Did they just charge into the spear line? They did. I mean, that wasn't bad. These are pretty light spears. But again, when you then pull out, you're going to lose a lot of men. I just don't like charging the spear lines. Yeah, this just works. I mean, they, they are a bit desperate, I guess. They're uh, really they're trying to focus on this cavalry with... Uh, oh, yeah, they're focusing on that cavalry quite nicely with trebuchets. They've killed like 20-odd men. You need to keep an eye on stuff like that. When you units from the fight, you just need to move them instantly. Yeah, they're losing here. Look, they've lost like 20-odd men being focused on with arrows. They're trying to pull out and the spears. Now would be the time to charge in with the other spear unit. Now that these guys aren't set up properly. The other carry unit, sorry. Charge into the spears. They weren't set up. And you could push on onto this cavalry unit. Onto these archers. The trebuchet, possibly. Who knows? Who knows? They're sending in more shock infantry. They're actually beating these swords, though. These Tazrili swords they need to push up their pole arms. They can then win it, uh, this uh, combat just again like they did earlier. HRE doing the Emperor proud, or trying to anyway. They're huge axes and swords. I think they've broken those uh, Georgians. Yet they have. And here comes the artillery now. This is what they need to be doing. They just need to be firing on positions. Like that's a pretty good ship like place to shoot. Yeah. That, I I can agree with that. This is also not a bad spot. Lots of clumping up here. You got pole arms. You got spears all clumping up. They got gunners setting up now, firing at these uh, these medium spears. Just force them out of positions that they can't uh, then defend. Like either they carry on shooting there, like standing there, and get more units killed, or they fall back and then you gain more ground. But in all honesty, this is looking pretty pretty interesting over here. Pretty spicy. The carry rear charging its own. Uh, Stuff though, we're all ghoulums charging the foot uh, ghoulums in the back to try and get these sergeants. Won't do a lot for the formation of the royal ghoulums, uh, not for the uh, foot ghoulums, sorry. The royal ghoulums, I mean, formation equally won't be great. I mean, this is a lot of uh, blobbing again by cavalry and uh, like infantry in there. I mean, they've only lost eight men actually, so it didn't really matter. But they want to get like artillery possibly to fo focus down over here. Just got to shoot for their assets. I mean, again, I don't know why the soldiers don't come all the way around here. They could just rear charge everything. The cavalry's gone for the HRE. Don't know where it's planning on going now. But I mean, their first like their first play just got all the way around. The Hungarian formation worked. Don't know why uh, the soldiers just don't do the same for the HRE. Will certainly work. Yeah, look at this. They're carrying on charging. Don't know why the HRE's insistent on doing this. I don't know if he's just not paying attention. Or what, but like he's insistent on his shock infantry charging pole arms, and he's gonna lose every time. He'll lose every time. Yes, he's killed, kill, got them down to 59 men, but this Janishi uh, Billman is far less expensive than those uh, like shock infantry. Better just to lose no men and just expend ammunition by uh, killing them with archers. Like this, the, these uh, shock infantry cost like a thousand plus a, a pop. The janitories, I think, cost 700, maybe 800. And also, then you've got to remember that these guys are really well chevroned up. Up, so that's a few more hundred. 
say like three, four hundred put in. So they're like that's a fifteen hundred man unit, and it's losing to eight hundred, uh, like an eight hundred point unit. Not worth it. Not worth it. It's better just to send up your four hundred, like your archers that cost like four hundred gold, just to shoot these guys point blank range. They have literally the best weapon to kill kill these guys. And now he's finally doing it, and he's broken them. And now is the time to charge in here. Now they have nothing set up here. They got more Janshi Billman coming up. Yes. Just do it again then. Just carry on doing this. Burn them down. Getting the numbers closer, but it's still not great. When the defenders outnumber you, never a good sign. Even if you have the better units. Especially if you're doing... It's not even like... I mean, they could still win this. They've got, there's a very good chance the attackers will still win this. But I'm saying they just won't win it if they carry on doing some of the strange tactics they're doing, like sending shock infantry against pole arms. Um, really, really bizarre. And not, yeah, not setting up archers. I mean, this fight here, they're unfortunate. This one, they, this fight here, they need shock infantry to win this. I mean, they are now actually lose. This one's losing. But if they get had their shock infantry over here, they kill these guys so quickly. That's one of the things that hybrid archers cannot deal with. And now you can see the HRE's cavalry is going to come over here. It's getting shot at by towers. You need to be careful. I just put it like here. It's pretty safe from towers then. It doesn't need to be this far advanced. It's better to be closer to its own lines than go around. I mean, they could get the charge off from these ghoulams, but the ghoulams, yeah, the player's very aware of what's going on. He's going to chase them. I wouldn't worry about that. He's, oh, no, he's going to go and capture the tower. He's going to lose so many men from doing that. No, he's not. Thank God. I thought he was going to actually stand there and capture the tower. Worst decision he could probably do. Um, but they're going to have to stop somewhere, these Seljuks. They can't give up everywhere because if they could just go around, rear charge these uh, hybrid archers, they are going to sacrifice the trebuchet crew. The brave men. Um, okay, and you can see Spain actually sending his uh, cavalry reserve. I didn't realize he's doing this. He's gone after uh, Ghoul and Foot Guards. Not a bad idea, but there's so much stuff in here. Like the shock infantry or the cavalry. Um, they're just getting overwhelmed. This, like, this carriage is really, really good. He spent so much money on it as well and didn't use it until late game. Like, is that, so much of his infantry died early game to cavalry, and you can see he's doing the same here. His pole arms just got flanked hard. Jeez, I don't think Aragon had a really good game, uh, unfortunately. Yeah, there you go. They've stopped these uh, HRE carry in their tracks. And they'll probably die now. There's Ghulam. Royal Ghulam, they're heavy shock. They got support now with the Cavalero, and all they need is like this shock infantry going there. This Vranji guard, they'll mop it all up. And that's kind of like I think the last hope for the uh, attackers. Do they have broken through here? The Smart Hill Dargos have come around. They're now facing the Tazruli Swordsman. This is the late vote. Oh, this is early. Oh, these guys are awesome. With the capes and like kite shields. I love this unit. Big fan. Big fan. Do like playing Georgia. I haven't played them often in a while. They have no shock infantry. I don't know if they're going to have any ever added. And that might just be the weakness of them, which is fair enough. But they have no shock infantry, so it's hard to use. Um, they have really good cavalry, though, in my opinion. It's some good cavalry. It's some of the best, I'd say. Their infantry is pretty solid as well. Um, but yeah, you have to be uh, you have to be pretty pretty good at playing them because if you're going up another against another army of shock infantry, you're going to have a pretty rough time. Um, so obviously best to match yourself up against an army like in a siege like this best to match yourself up against another army That's got no shock infantry which None of them actually none of the other factions did have no shock infantry uh, Actually Hungary. I think Hungary had no shock infantry. Oh No, he did he had those medium axes which is sending like first thing um, Well, yeah, maybe they would be the best him to go up against Georgia versus Hungary both fairly Eastern factions both pretty, pretty easy, but he did pretty well against HRE lost a lot of stuff, but he slowed them down long enough for his allies to do so much damage to the Spanish and to, uh, to the Aragonese and to... Uh... Oh my gosh, what a shot that is from the uh, trebuchet. That got a lot more of his own men than it did of... Uh, look at them, they're getting like petrified. They, like stop for a moment. Yeah, it got a lot more of his men than it did the Georgians. Um, but yeah, so... Georgia did enough to slow down the HRE. I mean, they still got shock infantry here. Now would be the time to, uh, well, not even now would be the time. The pole arms in the flank here doing a lot of damage to these, uh, these dismounted little Dargos. And we could get a nice little flank into the side of them if he puts the, uh, shocking column. Oh, Nafatoons. Oh my gosh, that poor Pavis. That poor Pavis. The Nafatoons, I didn't even see they were set up. Oh, that was a better shot, though, for the, uh, trebuchet. Here they go again. More explosions. Enemy units have been 
They've got a whole fire. There's nothing left to shoot here. This unit is finished. It's finished. Hold your fire, Navsins. There'll be better stuff to come. There's this shock infantry still to come. They're getting focused down, though. They need to fall back. No, here they go. They're going to throw again. Oh, my gosh. They shouldn't, they shouldn't have. This unit is finished. It's finished. It's going to break, though. There you go. It's got, like, one volley left. I just hold your fire. Oh, now in comes some shock. Maybe kill them. Ah, that was a good hit with the trebuchet. Didn't seem to get many kills, though. Not in comparison to that first one. Like, the first one burned so much around it. The splash damage was nasty. Now it seems to have, like, a little bit left. They actually got their Royal Cavalry through. I don't know if they pulled it through or what. They actually did get their uh, Royal Cavalry through. I think it must have, like, pulled through because it's breaking. Uh, and you can see here that Royal Ghoulams are now uh, able to flank and just do a lot of damage. You've got Guard here. This is the uh, early period of Varangian Guard for the general. I like the early period of Varangian Guard, actually. It's kind of like the OG Varangian Guard, in my opinion. It's like the, uh, what well, they actually kind of look look like a bit. Like the, Vi the more Viking sort of looking ones, anyway. Put it like that. And yeah, HRE is basically finished. And uh, it's just really him left. Spain's kind of like got a few assets here and there, but not really anything amazing. And yeah, I think this this battle just kind of didn't help, but I think like they made a lot of mistakes. Hungary like charged straight down the middle of the street. Lost so much. He's sending pole arms and shock first. Never a good idea to send those two in first. Um, usually. Mo there are some occasions where it does like work, yes. Um, but like nine times out of ten, you'll lose your pole arms and shock straight away. So these Gulen foot guard had full ammo. And they're really good archers, and they focus them down and kill them. Better sending swords, which are missile block. Um, and he should have had his cavalry defending his flank. Because, uh, like, they eventually just, like... When the Hungarian cavalry just got killed off over here. Which is... It was a nice play. It nearly worked. Um, but he needs more support from his Spanish allies, I think, was going to do it. Um, he When he lost his cavalry, his flank was just easy to kill. Easy. Um... HRE, I think, should have made a push with his cavalry. He could have taken out so much of the uh, Turkish assets, made it a lot harder for the defenders. Uh, his cavalry could have got a lot of kills. Um, and then, yeah, Spain shouldn't just attack the spot at all. Spain should just not attack here. Should have joined with Hungary um, or with their... Probably, yeah, with Hungary. The HRE kind of had this area locked down. That's the longer wall to attack, and the better wall to attack is the attackers. Um, and you do a lot better, I think. That's just that's a few mistakes I can list off. But they did play well. They nearly, I mean, they killed a lot of men. It's down to 1,200. They have 700 left. They did a good job. I just think with a little bit more, like, thought and, like, knowledge. And, like, they could have done a lot better. I mean, they could have rinsed so many of these uh, these pole arms as well if they just, like, used their, their crossbows. Like, they're now sending these Mercer Genoese in. I don't know if they were just kind of giving up at this point. But these Genoese, just stun them here. They you just shoot these guys anyway. You just don't need to send troops in to uh, to fight like this. You don't always need to be in combat. Shoot uh, like having skirmish phases is perfectly fine. Shame that we're not going to see the fire the fire throwers in action. It's a real shame. They've actually lost some men as well. I think they must have been shot by like archers or something. Spain's got his final sword unit here. Where's his general? Oh, it's around here. Spain's general's around with the HRE. Well, that's uh, that's a shame. And I mean, they're about to get surrounded. The Spanish forces here. They're actually breaking anyway. And you can see the uh, HRE and the uh, and Aragon are going to set up their generals. I mean, Aragon could just go and get a nice easy kill on this school and foot guard here. It's all on its own. It's just realized it's all on its own now, I think. Um, and seeing that the generals coming up, yeah, they could definitely get this unit back. I don't know. Maybe they, they might they might better run this one down. Could certainly run something down here. They're all ghouls are running away. There's so much infantry here, you could just go and kill with this general. You need to just be aggressive with your cavalry, especially inside a siege. You might think, yeah, siege is a bit weird having cavalry inside. No, it's perfectly good. It's where you're going to use it more often, I think. Don't often see sallies in 1212. It's not like Rome 2, possibly, or. Um, or like, I even Rise of Mordor, I think I see more sallies in that than I say in 1212. 1212, everyone uses their cavalry inside the city more than likely. Unless you're playing like a really, like. I don't know. I think Nicaea could have probably played a uh, like could have played it really aggressive on someone with all the eight of his cavalry. I think he's brought or something like that. Seven or eight. He could have been really aggressive on say Hungary, who was on his own, um, and he probably could have taken him out with just his cavalry. 
Well, certainly not with all this just his cavalry, but he could have, like, if he played it right, he could have possibly. Maybe with the help of some other cavalry from, like, um, from the Seljuks or something, he might have been able to just, like, take them all out. You see they're just desperate trying to charge there. The Holy Roman Emperor is going in, he's charging into this big blob of Georgian infantry. Georgian's like, infantry, actually, they have quite a lot of good Georgian infantry left. This uh, does really, uh, early stuff's really good. I mean, this is uh, going to be easy. This is a nice fight for the uh, HRE infantry. They'll win this fight against Gulen, uh Foot Guard. Hopefully, I don't know if these are newer players or something like that. They may be because new update, new players. Um, but you certainly they like need to learn then, then like what goes well against what. Like swords will go well against spears. Um, shock infantry goes against well against just about everything. Um, just not well against archers. Like, what? Don't let them. Get, I mean, it won't go well against pole arms. That's the only thing. Like, God damn it, HR, stop doing this. It does not work. It does not work. You lose your, you lose your unit. Yes, you're gonna kill men. Like they're dropping. They're gonna send in their infantry now, and you die. To be honest, I don't know why um, the defenders haven't been using like a spear unit just to cover all their pole arms. Here we go, though. Aragon can go for this general. No, go for the general. Oh, you should just come for that general, but they're going to form a shield wall. This won't stop them. Yeah, look at that. That's a good charge there from the uh, Aragonese. That'll kill this uh, unit off quite likely. Very nice. Ghoulin foot guard dead. Maybe you just hate the Ghoulin foot guards and you wanted them dead. I mean, you can now, can now after this one, just go for this uh, shock infantry. Uh, the raw Ghoulins are over here just finishing off uh, the Spanish, actually. Which they're losing the spike. I guess the Spanish maybe formed shield wall, or they just didn't get a good charge, one or the other. But yeah, General's bodyguard should just go back, kill this Varangian guard here. Same with the General, I don't know what they're doing. Why isn't cavalry here to pole arms? Cavalry doesn't do well to pole arms. Nothing does well to pole arms, bar pikes or archers, or other pole arms. Even though the pole arms don't do well to pole arms. But we might see the fire throwers, they're coming up now. They're running out of stuff to throw their fire at, though, and the Nafatoons want another bit of the action. Yeah, everything's routing. They need this general just to charge in. General's bodyguard just kill this Vrangian guard. It won't, like, win them the battle. It'll just look very satisfying. And no, the general, they just gave an order to attack, like, the Tazrili's swords. Oh, no, was that, um, oh, this might have been actually the cavalry. Yeah, Manapsa guard. This Manapsa guard's actually pretty solid. Don't know if it'll win this fight, though. Oh, my gosh. Trying to get the angle. I was trying to follow the cavalry. Did not get the angle, but uh, there you go. It's gone in. See the general there for Georgia doing his bit. And yeah, they actually did win that fight. They got the charge off because these uh, generals' bodyguard. It was actually going at like a, it was walking, and these guys got the charge. And they were out. I mean, it doesn't help with army losses. Um, that these guys are broken, and that's going to be the battle, I think. Literally, just a few things are left. I'm just going to fast forward. I think. Just watch as like the attackers just mop up these archers and the shock infantry. Spears over here on the wall taking care of these crossbows. But yeah, I think I think they've uh, they've like hopefully the defenders uh, not the defense the attackers have learned um, from like their mistakes and they can take it into the next battle. That's like the best thing to do. Losing is not a bad thing. Like I mean. You can learn. You can learn a lot from your uh, from losing your games. I mean, it's only 800 man difference in the end. It's not bad. Uh, it's a close one. Defenders you don't often see win in 12-12. I mean, they've done that today. Um, but yeah, this is certainly certainly like some mistakes by the attacks, and they could have easily won this. I think if they'd uh, like, like I said, uh, learn didn't make those mistakes. But hopefully they've learned, and then they can go into the next one. They can do a lot better, and they can win it. Uh, but there you go, a period victory for the. Uh, Empire of Nicaea and for his allies. We'll end the replay and have a look at the end results. Um, so this was sent in by uh, Georgista, uh, uh, oh, good God, uh, Georgia, uh, Gorgiasta Greek. I definitely butchered that name. I do apologize. I always butcher it every single time. Um, um, but yes, yeah, sent in by Greek. We've got a uh, Froza who's playing as a as a Georgia, and then we have Mr. Orange playing as the Seljuks. So yeah, um, there is a few players there here that I recognise. They've got like, um, like I said, Greek here, who's uh, in my Discord. We've got Wandetta here. Here is also uh, a fairly good player. So it's a, a bit of a shame, um, like, like for the other players, I guess. But 
Uh, not really. I don't really know what I'm talking about there. But anyway, we'll get on with the Empire Nice here, and we'll see what uh, how they've done anyway. His general actually getting quite a lot of kills, 247. His angle of Ranjo, 298. Um, we then got the uh, like Pikes here, 100 kills. His cavalry, some of them did quite well, some of them didn't do so so well. His 216 here, this one did very well. Um, and his, uh, like this one down here, 151, as, uh, 52, sorry, doing also just well. His militia spears didn't get many kills, but they held up a lot of troops for a long time. Then we've got Froza here, who was playing as the Kingdom of Georgia. Um, his uh, spears here, getting an okay amount of kills. Like, they're not great, um, but they're okay. 78 kills. Uh, his pole arms did really well. 390 kills. Wow, they did so well. Um, yeah, that kind of happened. I think these guys are being pulled through by, like, shock infantry pulled through them. And, yeah, that's no surprising that these guys, like, died. Um, we then got his uh, his swords. Yeah, got absolutely destroyed by like the HRE swords. The swords for, like in the east are just not as good as the swords in the west. So that's why I was like, George should possibly have faced a uh, hungry if you wanted his best chance. Um, but they did okay anyway. His Tazrulu swords early at the end, uh, getting 100 kills. His yeah, Azori swords here, Azori swords getting 101. His uh, Tazrulu swords here, late period, getting 112. His archers not doing that many, getting that many kills at all. And then we've got Mr. Orange here who's playing as the Surgical Rum. Did really well with his cavalry, getting 208 kills with them. His uh, Nafting's getting 124 uh, kills. His Ghulam Footguard did okay. Nothing amazing, actually. Um, getting 130 kills, but that's pretty solid. His Janishy Billman getting 93 kills. His Spears getting 100, and his uh, Light Spears getting 125. So not bad at all. Then we've got Lantman here who's playing as Kingdom of Hungary. Uh, his shock infantry, the shock infantry, it's a shame to see it do so poorly. 79 kills. His pole arms getting 51 kills. These guys, both these two units, or like this set of units, getting killed early game um, with archers. His swords getting like no kills, you can see here. This is what happens when you blob up. His uh, crossbows as well getting nothing. And his best unit in the entire game was uh, his guns actually getting 102 kills. Um, his uh, Hungarian knights are getting 91 kills. Uh, the best unit out of those four. So yeah, hopefully Landman's learned like his lesson. Don't blob up, um, and then also, well, just don't let your uh, like shock and your pole arms go in first. So they'll get focused down. And then we've got Phantom Ghost here, who was playing as the uh, HRE. Had a pretty decent game. Did uh, was obviously like the last surviving one. He got some pretty good kills with his units, but equally made some mistakes. Like his shock infantry here, getting 120 kills, 218. These guys have got so many more kills, um, but he just sent them charging into pole arms. And that was just a terrible decision. Um, like, you just need to look, just slow down, let your archers come up, shoot them. And his archers will get so many more kills as well if he let his, uh, them just shoot pole arms all day. Uh, his sergeants, 112 kills, 116, even slightly even better. His uh, dismounted Imperial Ritter, a solid unit as well, only getting 92 kills. Real shame to see that, about that. His uh, archers here, 113 kills. His crossbows, 94. His uh, knights, or his uh, Imperial Ritter, getting 100. 54 kills and his trebuchet 198 so not too bad with that then we've got wandetta here who's playing his crown of aragon he just had an unfortunate place where he um like was positioned he should have joined hungary on that other side it had a longer wall to attack like his little area just got cut off really quickly and it's just gonna be very hard for him uh, his shock infantry 334 kills really good the other two not doing so well but that's that potential that they can do so these two i think are really unfortunate they did not do as well but yeah this one did really really well um, his swords, yeah, dismounted hill daggers getting like 94 kills. It got charged down by carry so often. I didn't get many kills. His pole arms getting 67 kills. His crossbows getting 70 kills. His um, gunners getting 100, 275 and uh, 155. It actually did really well with his gunners. And then his cavalry, his royal uh, guard cavalry, 202 kills. And his uh, armats getting 173. Definitely should have used his cavalry a bit more aggressively, I think. Certainly should have protected his hill daggers with them early game um, when he's getting charged by Nicene cavalry. But uh, yeah, there you go. Every, everyone learns from the mistakes and uh, everyone makes mistakes anyway. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I certainly did. It was a really fun one to watch. Nice to see the defenders win. And if you want to see more 12 12 action, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and a comment to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.